Hey everyone, and welcome back to another review. And yes, I know it's been over 8 months since my last review. Nevertheless, today I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Brendan Bay Shipping Company set, which was manufactured by Mattel in 2013. Now, let's get on to the set itself. This set includes a standard 2013 Thomas, a redesigned Bullstrode, which is definitely a downgrade compared to its predecessor, a yellow cargo car, a blue cargo car, four cargo pieces, a crane, a boathouse with a mechanism to drop cargo, a playboard, and of course, the shipping company building itself. Once set up, this set is massive, and I absolutely love the attention to detail that's found in every place of this set, especially in the shipping company building's interior. Since this set is elevated, there are two plastic ascending pieces, four support pieces, and a heap of track, which mostly consist of curves. Something I would have much preferred in this set is if the stock standard Thomas was replaced by a different engine. I think Salty would have been perfect for this set, as he is shown on the box twice after all. Even a unique Thomas would have been great. Say, maybe having the fish Thomas from the 2013 Adventures of Thomas pack in here? Honestly, I think that small change would have made this set much more unique from the loads of other Mattel era sets that include a generic Thomas model. But besides that, the main highlight of this set being the shipping company building is presented wonderfully. From the stunning attention to detail as said earlier, to the actually well implemented cargo loading ramps on each side. Unlike the racing down the rails set that I reviewed last year, this set offers a ton of playability. First of all, Thomas can stop by the gantry crane or stop on one side of the shipping company building to load up the cargo car, and from there, the cargo piece can be dropped down into Bullstrode's hull. Something I really enjoy about this set in particular is that it looks amazing in any place you view it from. All in all, I really do like this set, and while a few aspects are definitely underwhelming, I think that this is one of, if not the best Mattel era set because of the sheer amount of features, items, and all around craft craftsmanship included. If you don't have this set in your collection yet, I highly recommend it. Anyway, I thank you for watching and this is King Thomas Fan 121 signing out.